Now let us talk about the security related to AWS account. Earlier we have seen key pair, security groups, etc., which, which are related to the security of EC2 instances or other resources provisioned from AWS. But now we will talk about the security related to the AWS account itself. AWS account is the one which will facilitate us to provision resources such as EC2 instances. Um, and uh, in a given organization, there will be multiple people who will be working on um, AWS in provisioning and maintaining resources. And each one should have uh, their own level of access. Everyone should not have complete access to the uh, AWS account of an enterprise. So we are talking about those aspects when we talk about AWS security with respect to the account while pro provisioning the resources. That being said, you can expand uh, this one and go to my security credentials and it can show you a pop-up which will give you two options whether to go with the security credentials or IAM. IAM deal with uh, um, users for a given account and uh, different level of uh, roles and responsibilities for those accounts. And this page, the other section in that pop-up is nothing but security credentials. If you click on that, it will take you to this page. It is all about access to the AWS account. For now, we will primarily focusing on access keys, which is uh, responsible to provide you something called access key and secret key, which can be used to provision the resources from command prompt. And we will see that a bit later. But for now, we will just focus on creating this uh, access key and how we can use um, through command prompt for uh, accessing certain resources or provisioning certain resources from an AWS account. So the way you can create uh, access keys by clicking on this. You can create as many as you want, but if you read here, it says you can have a maximum of two access keys at a time, which are in active state, active or inactive state. Uh, you, the, this one is already deleted and I just created one, which says it is active. I can create one more if I want. And uh, if you click on the show access key, it will give you the access key and secret key. You can use this information to provision the resources. Okay. And at any point in time, you can have only two. Now you can see that it is disabled. Uh, both are in active state. One can be inactive, one can be active or both can be in active state also. So at any point in time, you can have at max two, either inactive or inactive or both states. Okay. If you just want to delete, you can just click on delete and say yes, it will be deleted. If you want to use this information, okay. Um, now you can see that you can't access the secret key. You can only access access key here. Secret key is not visible and we cannot fetch the information once um, it is gone when we try to make it active. They will only show the secret key one time. After that, they will not show. In case if you want to get the secret key, you have to delete the one for which you don't know the secret key at all. And then click on create new access key. Expand this, which is nothing but to show uh, which will not, uh, show both access key and secret key. It's better to download. It is downloaded here. And it is nothing but a CSV file. We can go to show in folder and right click and then say open with, let's say notepad. We see access key as well as secret key for the uh, um, key which we just created. And we can use this information to uh, to set up command line uh, stuff, and we can actually provision the resources um, using uh, these details from command line also. And we will see how we can do that uh, very soon.